Hey guys, my name is Scott, and today I will be taking you through the OpenStreetMap to ArcGIS, uh, to City Engine, to Unity process, taking data from one source to another, um, and making sure that it all goes through smoothly. The first thing you're going to want is a few programs. So you will need QGIS, um, an open source GIS program installed, um, Esri ArcMap, Esri City Engine, as well as Unity. If you have those programs, we can go on ahead. First thing was to do is to gather our data. So we're going to need a few things, a DEM, a digital elevation model uh, for height, and the actual data, the buildings and streets from OpenStreetMap. To get the DEM, we're going to be going to Cougar, which is the Cornell repository for GIS data, and select the DEM. I'm from Ithaca, New York, so we're going to be selecting the East Ithaca Quadrant um, and downloading that DEM. I'm going to create a folder for all the files that we're going to be putting in here today through this tutorial. And we're going to save the DEM there. Extract it. So we're just going to save it here to the general folder and hit extract. So now that we have our digital elevation model, we're going to go to openstreetmap.org and download the polygons and well as well as lines. So go hit export, manually select a different area, and then select your quadrant. We're going to be selecting this area in East Ithaca. So just drag the box around your area. You can go as big or as small as you like. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be choosing a relatively small area. Then hit export. This will give you a .osm file. Um, it's a OpenStreetMap uh, proprietary file um, format. And it can only be read by QGIS. QGIS cooperates with OpenStreetMap to create uh, and process such files. So show in folder, and we're going to copy it over to our tutorial folder. Next thing you're going to want to do is open QGIS. Again, this is an open source alternative to ArcMap. Go over here to the left side, hit add vector layer, browse to your directory, and select the OSM file. What's important here are the lines, which are the streets, and the multi-polygons layers. Um, the multi-polygons are buildings. So we're going to select those two. And as you can see, this is the quadrant of East Ithaca that we selected. These are buildings. These are the streets. And these look like someone digitized entire neighborhoods. So we'll go delete those later. For now, we want to be able to put these files into a geo database. That's the Esri file format. Uh, for storing um, GIS data. So we're going to need to export these as shape files so they can be turned into feature classes in ArcMap. So go to your layers panel here in the bottom left, right click on the layer, cl click save as, and browse to your directory. So we'll call this Ithaca lines. Leave these all as the default and hit OK. As you can see, they are now a shape file. We're going to do the same with the polygons. Now that these are in shapefile format, we can move over to ArcMap. We're going to add these to our blank map, the two shapefiles that we just created. There's our lines file. And here's our polygon file. As you can see here. We're also going to add our DM that we downloaded from Coover earlier. So now all three files are on this map. 
Now we want to create a geodatabase that we can import into City Engine. So right click on your folder, select New, File Geodatabase, and then rename it. I'll call it Import to City Engine. We want to export our line and polygon shape files as feature classes to the geodatabase. So right click in the table of contents on your shape file, go to data, export data, and then select the geodatabase. And rename your file to something else. I'll call it Ithaca Lines. Do the same for your polygon file. Now, both of these shape files are feature classes in the geodatabase, which is the file format that City Engine can read. The final step in ArcMap is to export the DEM as a file that the City Engine can read. So we're going to export this DEM as a .tiff file. To do that, right click on the DEM in the table of contents, go to data, and select export data. Leave these default settings the same, and then choose the folder that we've been working from. Rename the DEM, but make sure it has the .tiff extension. We'll just call it DEM. Hit save, and it'll export. The next thing we're going to do is move over to City Engine and create a new project. So go to File, New, City Engine, City Engine Project. Select Location. and title your project. I'll call it City Engine Tutorial. Now it will appear in your navigator window in the bottom left hand corner. It's created all of these files here. Now right click on Scene, hit New, City Engine Scene. Scene 1. So now in the 3D viewer here, in your viewport, is a blank scene. We can start adding data to this. Go to File, Import, and import the geodatabase that we created earlier. These gives you the option of what you want to select. So you can deselect if you only want to import one, but in this case we want to import both the lines and polygons features. These uh, are some of the cleaning up, like simplifying tools um, that are options. I'm going to leave them as the default for now, but feel free to explore what each option does. This gives us the option of choosing our coordinate system. It knows what coordinate system the data is already in, what it was downloaded in, ZUTM Zone 18 North, so we're going to leave it at that. So this is our city in City Engine, um, just the streets and building polygons. We're going to deselect blocks to give a little bit of a cleaner look, as well as delete these neighborhood polygons. So now this should just be building footprints and streets. As you can see, the streets are not perfect by any means, um, and they need to be cleaned up. Um, that can be done manually by deleting and then using the freehand street creation tool to redraw them from node to node. Um, you can also try to use the graph simplification tool. So select your objects by right clicking on it in the scene viewer and select simplify graph. Clean up graph right below it in the same tool section uh, performs a similar function. You can try different settings there, but as you can see, it's starting to clean up the graph a little bit. There are some areas that will still need to be fixed manually. For now, though, let's leave it at that. The next thing we want to do is raise these building, building footprints and make them look like real buildings. So we're going to select the objects in the polygons layer, 
go over to the inspector over here on the right hand side and select assign on the rule file. Rule files are City Engine's way of making, of providing textures and heights and uh, turning these objects into shapes. So we're going to use some of the default rules provided by Esri in the Esri lib folder. This comes default with City Engine. So select Esri lib, go to rules, buildings, and use buildings from OpenStreetMap. As you can see here in the inspector, you can alter some of the rule, rule um, definitions. So the number of levels to the building, the height of the building, as well as things like type of roof. For now, we'll just leave it, we'll choose a default style, uh, for example, generic medium town, and click generate. As you can see, we now have extruded the buildings and they have textures. These are the pulled from OpenStreetMap and they look okay. So we're going to want to do a similar thing on the streets. So select objects on the streets, go over here and in the inspector to the rule file section, click assign, go to the Esri lib, rules, except this time go to streets. For now we'll choose the simple version, but you can explore the modern standard version as well. Now that we've assigned the rule file, again, click Generate. Now our streets as well have textures and have shapes, sidewalks, center lines. The last step before we import the city engine scene into Unity is to assign the height map. For that, we're going to load in the DEM that we downloaded earlier. Drag the DEM in the navigator window on the bottom left into the data folder. Then drag the DEM onto the scene. Here, the height map file will create elevation. The texture file is what the height map will display as. This will be the place to assign aerial imagery if you were doing that. Leave these defaults the same and hit finish. We've now created our height map. As you can see, it has some depth. What we now want to do is assign the lines and polygons to this terrain. To do that, right click on the lines, hit select objects, go to the top up here, and hit align streets to the terrain. Use project all, and choose the height map as the terrain DEM that we just made, and hit finish. Do the same with the polygons way except instead go up here to align shapes to terrain. Again, choose the height map as terrain DEM and hit finish. We'll remove the terrain DEM from the scene viewer. And as you can now see, our buildings and streets are aligned to the terrain. The scene now has some depth. We're now ready to import into Unity. Once Unity is open, go to New, and create a new project. We'll call it test. Change the location to the folder that we've been working from, as it is here, and hit create project. Now in this Unity window, create a couple folders. The first one is we're going to drop all of our models, so we'll call that models. And the next one is for our scenes. So we'll call that scenes. Within the scenes folder, again, right click, hit create, and this time go to scene. We'll call it city. We're now ready to import models from City Engine. Now, select the objects you want to export to Unity. Go to File, Export Models and choose the Wavefront OBJ option. For Output Path, choose the Models folder we just created in Unity. This base name will be the name of our model. We can leave it as Scene1. Hit Center to center the project in Unity, and hit Finish. Now, go back to Unity, 
Go to Scenes and open your scene. Now, go to Models and search for the model we just exported. We called it Scene 1. Here it is. And drag it onto your scene. Hit F to find it. Now we have the fully modeled city we created in City Engine in Unity. As you can see, all of the buildings are textured as well as the streets. It's also a line to the train. It has depth. So now you can do with this whatever you want. Again, I would recommend cleaning up some of these streets in City Engine before exporting it to Unity. And you also can begin to model individual buildings or apply individual textures to areas that you might want better detailed. This concludes this tutorial of bringing OpenStreetMap data to City Engine and then the Unity.